Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pastor Kim's Corner. And yes, it's me, Pastor Kim. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So welcome back. And if you're new here, then please don't forget to like, subscribe, post a comment, and hit the notification bell so that you can see when I'm uploading a new video every day. Most importantly for me, leave a comment, you know, because this is the way we communicate, okay? I don't have your number, you don't have my number, so leave me a comment, okay? So the word that I have for you today, you know, you got to start your day with God and get the scripture in, is coming from Luke, the first chapter, and I'm going to begin at the 11th verse, okay? And it says, the angel, then, excuse me, then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was startled and was gripped with fear. But the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been answered. Your prayer has been answered. How many of you have been praying for something? And your prayer is about to be answered. So watch it. Your prayer has been answered. He says, but the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zechariah, your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son, and you are to call him John. So Zechariah had been praying for a family, and he wanted a son, and he couldn't name him Junior. He had to name him John. He will be a joy and a delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. Listen to this. This is important, y'all. He is never to take wine or other fermented drink. And he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he's born. So, you know, some people are always like, well, can you drink? Can you not drink? The scripture says strong drink is a mockery. Don't drink in excess. Listen, some of us can get away with some things and some of us can't, okay? You have to face that. Some of us have been called and set apart and we can't get away with what everybody else gets away with. Case in point, John, before he's born, his family is instructed, his father in particular says, uh, your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son and you are to call him John. He will be a joy and a delight to you. And many will rejoice because of his birth for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. Check this out. This is one point I'm trying to get to. He is never, never, never to take wine or other fermented drink. And he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he's born. Okay, so again, some can and some can't. He will bring back many people of Israel to the Lord their God. He will go on before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous. So he's going to be powerful. He's set apart from birth to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Zechariah, now listen. The angel comes and tells you your prayers have been heard. God is answering your prayers. It's done, brother. It's done. That's how we are. And I want to continue with this. I might have to wait till tomorrow. But that's how we are. We pray for God. We pray to God for something. And then when he answers our prayer, what do we do? What do we do when he, when he answers our prayer? So first of all, for today, and I'm going to finish this tomorrow because you know we're making it short and sweet. For today, if you're praying for something, believe God. Believe him. Believe that it's going to get here. And Lord have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. Just believe God to be continued. Y'all have a blessed day and a purposeful life in Jesus' name. And you know that I love you with that agape love. Be blessed.